Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? So, a work in progress Wednesday video for you guys. Uh, over the last kind of two weeks, I haven't really been thinking too much on what to paint or what to get done. So, uh, upon going across my Skaven bits, I just started doing Skaven models. Um, I know I wanted to do the Dead Runners eventually. Um, but I just started doing bits and pieces, a few uh, little conversion here and there. So um, yeah, so I had the deck runners the the start. So that guy was all made up. So I started ten on this guy. Um, I just got the skin painted on. This was mostly going to be a test guy to see how the rest of it goes with him. So I got the skin on him. Uh, I went for kind of a dark green for the clots, and then just pretty basic. Then just the metal colors and um. The kind of the cloth color so he's still an early work in progress it's just the base coats and the washes on the skin but the rest of them are all pretty much base coats i haven't got a chance to get around to ending yet um i'm thinking of giving that that's why i left this one blank because i want to give it like a red handle since it does look like a corn blade i'd like to give it something to resemble that and um, then obviously just the small details after that then to fill in um then i had this guy up now this is a clan molder pack master uh oh ages ago let me think it probably was like nearly a year ago i bought a lot of skaven bits off ebay most of them are clan well 99 percent of them are clan rats but there's two models in there to make like a um like a leader guy and this uh, pack master uh so i said just why not just put them together start painting them and uh, he's near enough finished, he's 99% done. Um, I was doing a paint tutorial for this guy, but like I got I, about halfway through it, I hit record. And then when I like pressed the stop button, I just looked at it and I said I didn't press record fully. So there's a whole chunk of it missing, so I just left it after that. But um, hopefully I can get another one set up soon. Um, he's, he's kind of old fashioned, model. not old fashioned, but you know, he's one of the older models. But he's still pretty nice, he has his things catcher and his whip here with the kind of metally spike sticking out of it the only things that need to be done on this guy is obviously the base um, but the whip needs to be finished the colors need to be a bit more done on the brown on it the metal needs to be washed and highlighted his nails on his feet need to be finished and then that's pretty much it then for this guy there's not a whole lot i can do there's a part here where i have to redo you can see the kind of white line there that's when the glue went over the paint a little bit, so I have to like uh, just go over that. I went with like kind of grey robes. I wasn't sure what colour to do them with green highlights, which I think turned out really nice. I think it suits it really well. It's a colour scheme that I'll definitely like to use in the future. But um, yeah, like all it was was three pieces. Well, four if you include the head. The body is one big piece, and then just the two arms. I thought it was a bit much giving them the two weapons, but it looks really nice now once it's on. So I'm definitely looking into making more clan molder guys. Um, for definite in the future uh, and then lastly um, I have this is a um, oh what's the good name I'm pretty sure it's Clan Skyer I can't think of it off the top of my head now um, but it's a warlock warlock engineer yeah that's what they call it <laughs> I just my mind's gone completely blank here for a second um, but this is from the island of blood from the old 8 edition starter set uh, I had two of these and I had one painted up and I didn't really want to have two of them the exact same. So what I did was, um, this arm is meant to be holding a staff and he's meant to have like this backpack powering the gun um, that he had before I changed it. So what I did was I took this arm off and I gave him a banner just to give him that kind of badass look. He's pointing or shooting into battle holding a banner up. Um, and then I changed the weapon as well. I took all the wires coming off. I took the backpack off. Um, he had a lot more up along the top here, I can't remember what it was, but I took all that off. Um, it kind of came out like a blunderbuss, the kind of the point of the gun. So I chopped that off, and this is from another Packmaster model from the Island of Blood kit. So what I did was, I took the top of his pole off, and I stuck it on here, just to give him like a, kind of like a warpstone, kind of pistol or warpstone type of gun. Um, so hopefully it'll look nice when it's all painted up. Uh, this guy's pretty cool though, I like him. The banner is just a normal clan wrap banner. Uh, it's not glued in, so it just pops out. It's not glued in yet. You know it's from the starter set because it has the little part where, you know, the snap fit type thing. 
so I had to drill a bigger hole in his arm once he was glued in together all of it's glued except for the arm so I'd base all that separate and I'd paint a separate thing but he looks pretty nice I think he's kind of like I got a guy you'd put near the front line shooting into battle. I think he looks pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's it for Work in Progress Wednesday. Uh, this guy is nearly finished. Just got to do the base and tip, a, tip off a few little colors, top them off. Um, this will be a work in progress for the next few weeks. You know, it's going to take me time with it. I'm not much of a hurry. Uh, but I'll see how it gets on. And then this guy will be started pretty soon. I just have to figure out what colors I'm going to use. Um, since they're going to be for certain clans, I want to try and keep the colors in like a uniform or in unison um, so like this pack master has like a grey with green highlights so I'm gonna keep that similar to the clan molar but for clan skyer I don't know what I'm gonna go for yet, go for yet. maybe blue I'm not sure but let's see when the time comes so anyway let me know what you guys think of this Skaven work in progress video if you guys like it make sure to leave a comment below let me know what you guys think and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video